Now, hello guys, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight, and today I'm bringing you a Sofran Amrabat FIFA 23 Team of the Tournament player review. I paid 70k for him, his price is all over the place at the minute because he has only just come out in packs. He is the central defensive midfielder from uh, Morocco and Fiorentina, 6 foot 1, low high on the work rates. Um, right footed, 3 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. The low high there definitely shows that he is purely a central defensive midfielder. You don't really want to be playing him anywhere other than that. Let's get into the in-game stats now. All right, so the 78 pace is, yeah, as you would expect, made up of 79 and 78. 81 shooting, not bad. Long shots and shot power is probably what you would expect from someone with low attacking work rates. 81 passing could be a bit better, but 93 short pass is really, really good on the card. Definitely brings it up, and that is the most important stat. 87 dribbling. Look at those stats. Some of them 95 ball control and balance. 86 reaction, 95 composure, really solid there. Good, good defending, 89 defensive awareness, 84 stand and tackle, and 92 strength joined by 90 stamina and 80 jumping. So some really standout um, stats there. I've been excited to play with this guy. Let's get into it. All right, so you're joining me here, 2-1. Um, not a lot's gone on, to be honest, and Amrabat has not managed to get into the game all that much, so let's try and get him uh, into the game here. I've got him playing as a central defensive midfielder, of course, because with that low attacking work rate, he is just going to sit back anyway, so no point in even trying him anywhere else, to be honest. Um, he is over there on the left-hand side, by the looks of things, is where he seems to be sitting. Um, so yeah, let's see how we go. I've changed the camera settings. I know a lot of people have been commenting on previous videos, just asking, oh, uh, asking for me to change the camera settings but no one's really got back to me to say what um, settings to change it to so I'm on tele broadcast at the moment I think so if you like these let me know in the comment section down below if not let me know what camera setting I should be using um, I was using a different one altogether EA cam or something like that um, EA sports cam I think it was and people were not liking that so anyway let's get back into this now Amrabat on the uh, on the side there, I'm hoping that he's going to be really good at short passing and and use his strength and defensive. Here he is on the ball, and a solid pass. I mean, it, you couldn't really mess that one up. Well, Morion says messed up the receiving there of the pass, um, but yeah, a, a solid pass from Amrabat, and he's done well again there. Sure, unfortunately, he didn't do so well. It seems like whoever Am oh that was a terrible tackle. Whoever Amrabat's passing to is actually uh, not doing the job um, as soon as they get the ball off of him, which is uh, a bit unfortunate, but it's not his fault in any way at all. So, yeah, we're not going to blame Amrabat for that one. Shevchenko, straight at the wall, fine. Let's try and get this ball out now. Here he is, Amrabat. Let's get him on the ball and see what he can do. So he's got decent enough pace there. He's dribbling. Oh, look at that. He's got away there. His dribbling's looking good. Oh, that's a terrible pass. For someone with uh, with such high short passing, I would have expected that to be a bit better. And his pace is not looking good there either. Yeah, they got away from him a bit there. Got lucky that the uh, that I had solid defence in the back there. But yeah, his pace was always going to be something that I all oh, through here it was going to be something that I was going to be worried about. Moriantes oh, and Doan. So I am doing a review on him as well. Um, so if you want to check that one out, there will be a link in the description down below with all of my uh, FIFA 23 player reviews in. But I am doing an active review on him, who probably will be out by the time that you are watching this video. There's Amrabat again with another good pass. So he's actually created this whole chance here and didn't manage to get the goal there. But Amrabat really did create that chance. Can he get a tackle in? Nope. I wanted to try and test out his defensive uh, strength and, and all that good stuff that uh, we are really using him for. We're not using him for his attacking. Come on, Morientes. Oh, another good save. He has got uh, Testergen in goal, who always seems to be the keeper that I find hardest to score against. Um, oh, he's got his... Oh, no. I, I don't know what was going on there. Oh, unlucky Amrabat there. Um, oh, yeah, nice. Look at that. Oh, and he's lost the ball there. Um, good defensive at first, and then tried to turn and turn back into danger. So, yeah, kind of undoing what the good stuff that he did. There he is. Good pass. And he started this attack here again. Not managing to get it through, unfortunately. Still got the ball, though. Still got possession. Um, so, oh, what is going on there? It's like he's on ice. That was a bit, bit weird. Um, yeah, don't know what was going on there. Um, let's see if we can get the ball over to Amrabat. Nope, not a chance. It was in really in a good position anyway, to be honest, to be passing from there. Um, but his guy is away now, Mendy, and he's put the ball straight out. Very, very bizarre. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there. 
as Morion says, and Doan is away here, sort of, not really, unfortunately, great, oh, it's a, fair enough, I'll take that free kick all day long, for me that didn't seem like a free kick, I've just messed that up completely anyway, um, I wish it wasn't a free kick, because now he is going on the attack here, uh, Koulibaly done very well there, can we get the ball to Amrabat, there he is, making a good run actually, surprising, and he's going to let it fly, oh, Another good save. I feel like that that probably would have gone in if it was against a different keeper. Um, Testergen is just that next level keeper for me anyway. Um, so yeah, it's just annoying that um, I couldn't get that goal with Amrabat. Decent enough pass there. Again, another one where he was building up the play himself. Uh, but yeah, not really much coming of that one. Uh, not a lot going on here now really. I need to try and get this ball off of him, oh no, he's away, oh, what a save that is, that makes up for all of Tess Durgan saves against me, oh, and again, another good save, to be fair, that one was more comfortable, and uh, yeah, we, we conceded the corner there, and he likes these short corners, this guy, I don't know why, it's not really done much for him, and we have definitely robbed him a bit there, there's Amrabat on the ball, nice, he's showing good dribbling, that is one thing that I definitely will say about him, just couldn't get the ball there. That would have been a very nice little attack. Um, yeah, showing really good dribbling. It's his pace that's letting me down a little bit, which is worrying. He's made some good passes, but he's made one dodgy pass that was really dodgy. Um, all in all, though, I think he's, he's done a good job in this game. Of course, I will play some more games with him before giving a final verdict of him. But, yeah, so far, not bad. He's had a solid game. Let's see what we can do. If we can get this last minute winner would be nice and we'll try not to concede that would be so annoying at this point. We've been all over him this second half. We should be taking the lead. Um, it's both had good chances to be fair and that was another one well straight at the keeper to be, to be honest there. But yeah we've both had good chances and uh, unfortunately neither of us have been able to take him. Header out Amrabat, good header out. He got the header there. He's won a couple of headers I think and that is full time. Let's get back into the in-game stats. Alright, so let's go stat by stat and then I'll give my final verdict on it if I think that he is worth picking up. So, 78 pace definitely felt like 78 pace. Um, didn't feel good at all. At this point in the game, 78 pace will feel like 50 pace when the game first came out. So it is a bit irritating that he has only got 78 pace. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to increase that. 81 shooting, he didn't score any goals for me purely because he didn't really get forward enough to do so. Um, he did have that one shot in that game that you saw. He had a couple of shots in other games, but he didn't manage to score. He got him on target though. 81, I'm going to leave at 81. He's passing at 81 as well. I think we can probably look to increase that to like an 83. He did have good passing. I think because his short passing was so good, it actually makes the passing feel a lot better. It is the crossing and the free kick accuracy that's bringing that down. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll increase the passing to like an 82, 83. Dribbling at 87, I'm going to leave as it is. 87 is a very, very good stat, and normally I would be decreasing a stat like that, but we're going to leave it as it is because his dribbling did feel really good, particularly that balance. I did notice that he was able to just turn around and, and sort of, he, he didn't trouble him, he didn't turn like a truck or anything like that. So 87 will leave. And the defending at 84, I think. We'll, we'll keep at 84. I think the physical and the defending kind of goes hand in hand with this sort of card. Um, and his big, big strength definitely did come in. That was the main thing that I noticed, that he was super strong. He was just bulldozing people off the ball. And that, along with the standing tackle, very good. So we'll leave the defending and physical the same. So we've increased um, the passing and left every other stat the same. Is he worth picking up? For me, I think I'm going to have to say no. That pace really does kill this card. And the low, high work rates is great if you want someone that is purely just going to sit back and, and do the job, I guess, as a central defensive midfielder. I, I was just looking for a bit more from him. I wanted him to be a bit better than this, and the pace really does let it down. So for me, I'm going to have to say, not worth it. But hopefully you did like the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below if you do try out Amrabat and how you get on. And uh, if you did like the video, there is a subscribe button that you can press, and that will allow you to see all of my other FIFA 23 player reviews. As always, guys, thank you for watching.